I'm joined by German football writer Mark Lovell, who is on the phone from Frankfurt, Germany. Mark, there's not a lot of squads who can leave the Bernabeu with 72% possession. There were some very excellent chances for Bayern, especially with Mario Goetze very close to the end. But why could they not make that breakthrough? Good evening, Lara. Yeah, amazing stats, uh, all with Bayern showing that advantage, even 15 corners to Real 3. But thankfully, the laws of football remain the same. It's all about putting the ball in the back of the net. And uh, Real, you have to say, had the better chances. They could have been leading 3-0 at half-time, if you remember. Uh, Ronaldo missed a couple of chances he would normally eat up. So one side of me thinks that uh, Bayern would be quite happy with a 1-0 defeat, despite having all those impressive stats. They've still got a chance a good chance next week to turn this around in Munich. Uh, they absolutely certainly do. Madrid, they seem very excellent on the counterattack, as they always seem to. They did trouble Bayern with that counterattack. To me, it was mainly a pace issue. What do you think it was? Well, I give credit to uh, their Italian coach, Carlo Ancelotti. He's, uh, you know, German sides traditionally have problems with Italy, and the Italian influence of Ancelotti came through tonight, and he's a real coaching masterclass. It helps to have all these top quality stars in his ranks, but uh, let's give praise to Ancelotti that uh, Guardiola will have his chance next week to turn this around like he did when they fell behind against Manchester United recently in Munich too. Well then, let's look ahead then. What do you think is going to be that main tactical difference that we could expect from Bayern in the second leg? I don't think there'll be many uh, changes, Lara, if I'm, if I'm honest. I think they're going to have to be a little bit more defensive. Um, to try and stop that away goal. If uh, Real get an away goal, that means that Bayern are going to have to score three to progress. So it might be a little bit cagey, um, you know, for long periods. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see, but I don't expect many changes. I expect the possession stats to remain the same, heading towards 70-75% uh, for Bayern. But it, they will hope to have better luck in front of goal, that's for sure. Yeah, I assume that they would. Mark, thank you very much for joining us.